Russia addressed the Lok Sabha on the last day of the budget session, the final parliament sitting ahead of Lok Sabha elections. The Home Minister spoke about Ram Mandir construction in Ayodhya, saying the fight for over 500 years has now come to an end. Amit Shah said that January 22nd, 2024 will be remembered as a historic day for years to come. He said that Ram is the soul of India and the nation cannot be imagined without Ram. The minister said that the construction of the Ram temple was impossible without Prime Minister Modi. He said that LK Advani awakened the people of India and Prime Minister Modi realized the dream and fulfilled it, adding that the Prime Minister was immersed in Ram Bhakti for 11 days. ये जो मंदिर बना है उसके निर्माण में भी पूरे समाज को साथ में रखने का काम किया गया है पूरे समाज को जोड़कर मानवर ये मंदिर बना है ये सामाजिक एकता का एक अद्भुत उदाहरण है मंदिर है सांस्कृतिक पुनर्जागरण का अद्भुत उदाहरण है मंदिर है कि जो आर्थिक क्षेत्र के अंदर जो बदहाली करी थी जो पॉलिसी पैरालिसिस वाली गवर्नमेंट थी सैकड़ों पॉलिसियां बनकर आज 11वें नंबर से 5वें नंबर पर हमारे अर्थतंत्र को ले जाकर एक नीति के आधार पर चलने वाला राज्य नीति के बनाने वाले नेता कैसा होता है उसका उदाहरण दिया कि बहुत लंबे समय से इस देश को ऐसे नेतृत्व की जरूरत थी 70 70 साल तक 68 68 साल तक देश ऐसे नेतृत्वों में भटकता रहा लटकता रहा 130 करोड़ की जनता ने मोदी जी को चुनकर एक सर्व संपन्न गुण सर्व गुण संपन्न नेता को चुनकर देश की सभी चुनौतियों को समाप्त my colleague Milan Sharma is now joining me live from Delhi on this. A big message, of course, they're being sent out by the Bharatiya Janata Party with that motion of thanks on the construction of the Ram Temple in Parliament today, Milan. Well, yes, follow me. Uh, the way Home Minister Amit Shah uh, has heaped praises uh, at the fact that uh, the Prime Minister himself was on a fast for about 11 days before that uh, consecration ceremony of the Ram Temple also speaks of his kind of dedication that he had to bring, uh, you know, the Ram Temple uh, to reality. And also the fact that uh, he has said that this actually marked the beginning of Bharat's new journey. And uh, of course, uh, you know, the discussion was on, uh, you know, the vote of thanks for uh, Ram Mandir. He's also said that 22nd January will forever be remembered in history as a historic day for years to come and it was fulfilled uh, by the dreams and the hopes and the wishes of all the Ram devotees across the country. Uh, he's also said that the nation cannot imagine uh, itself without Ram and Lord Ram has showed, uh, you know, the people what is Ram Raja and everyone should unite together for the Ram Mandir. Therefore, you know, the messaging there, Paul, me is very clear that uh, he wants his speech to resound with the people of the country as well mm -hmm. and uh, it's not mere words but it's actually a messaging that will also go forward in the 2024 elections this year right Milan thank you for joining us with all of those uh, details so that of course was what happened in Parliament now politics over party